This video will be a separate video which will serve as a introduction towards the next video which will be about the pharmacology of blood pressure medications which are acting upon the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. But to understand the mechanism of these drugs we first have to understand the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, how it affects the body and how it regulates blood pressure, electrolyte balance and even the sympathetic activity. The goal of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is to regulate the blood pressure in response to signals within the body. These signals within the body can signalize hypotension, hyponatremia or a decrease in perfusion of the kidney. So essentially these are signals which are saying that there is a low blood pressure, that there's not enough sodium within the blood or that the kidney is not receiving adequate blood supply. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system acts upon these signals by producing several intermediates in different parts of the body which will react with each other to convert angiotensinogen, which is a precursor molecule, into a couple of steps to produce a powerful vasoconstrictor called angiotensin 2. Vasoconstrictors narrow the lumen of blood vessels to effectively increase the peripheral vascular resistance to then increase the blood pressure. Now I will go into a bit more detail how this takes place stepwise. So the liver produces a precursor molecule called angiotensinogen. Angiotensin again, in response to an enzyme, can be converted into another intermediate precursor molecule called angiotensin 1. The enzyme that is needed to convert angiotensin again into angiotensin is renin. Renin is secreted by the kidney in response to hypotension, hyponatremia, or to a decrease in the blood perfusion of the kidney. In the next step, the ACE enzyme comes into play. The ACE enzyme is short for angiotensin converting enzyme, and this will convert angiotensin 1 into the final powerful vasoconstrictor called angiotensin 2. It does this by removing two C terminal residues from angiotensin 1. The ACE enzyme is found within the lung and within the kidney's epithelial cells. Angiotensin 2, which now is produced, have many stimulating effects. It increases the sympathetic tone, which is responsible for the body's fight or flight response in stressful situations. It increases the cardiac contractions by stimulating the myocardium's isotropy as well as chronotropy. It signalizes the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland to release antidiuretic hormone, which will then increase the water reabsorption within the collecting ducts of the kidney. It also signalizes the adrenal gland to secrete aldosterone another hormone which is responsible for an increase in reabsorption of sodium as well as excretion of potassium within the tubules of the kidney. It also stimulates release of catecholamines and it promotes cardiac remodeling. This is important because in excess stimulation of the RAS system it can even lead to left ventricular hypertrophy, which is essentially when the wall of the heart will thicken. So now when we look at this scheme we can see just how important and powerful its effects are. So there is really no wonder that this is a target system in the treatment of diseases such as cardiovascular disease, renal disease and systemic hypertension because the long-term activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system can lead to elevation of the blood pressure to vasoconstriction, to sodium reabsorption and water retention, edema, left ventricular hypertrophy as we said, 
and even glomerulosclerosis with proteinuria and chronic kidney failure. In my next video I will go into details about just where in the renin angiotensin aldosterone system these different blood pressure medications and heart medications act and talk more detail about them. So hope this was understandable for you and that you will look at the next video also. Thanks for watching.